really? I had a I had a music teacher in school, and I felt horrible for her. She was a hundred percent blooded Italian, hundred percent Italian, very Italian, very very Italian, gluten allergy. I felt horrible for her. I felt horrible for my teacher. I, I'm, I bet she loved the, inven the invention of gluten-free pasta then. She can't stand it. She, it pains her to eat gluten, but sometimes she's like, ah, she, she, she used to always say, oh, I had family dinner on Sunday. I'm like, what'd you have? She goes, oh, I had the pasta. I suffered, but I had the pasta. It was like, good for you. Dude, at, I, Gluten is 100% of her diet. It's 100% of my diet. I love gluten. Dear God. I'm so Italian. Fuck, man. I'm, I might put on my oven and go make a sfogliadella real quick. I'm I'm very tempted. Have we started yet? Uh, no, I've been running in the hallway back and forth, banging my head on the wall both sides for about 20 minutes. Yeah, they Did haven't get... showed up at all. Oh, the person hasn't shown up. Okay. Is the next person here? Can you repeat yourself, Alice, please? Is the next person here? Negative. Not yet. Although, I did see their name on Twitter, so they're making their way, I think. Okay. Okay, good. Yeah, if, if a person who's scheduled isn't here and somebody else is here, we should just take yeah, the we'll just, Yep, yeah, next. No, I agree. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Let's throw a big ol' X. Okay. My buddy was lactose intolerant. I got fucking high and took a pill and ate pop tarts dipped in cake frosting. You know what? Honestly, good for him. He knew what he wanted. I almost cried uh, when I found I could eat gluten without pain again. Do you know what I did recently? Not not for allergy reasons. So I grew up in New York. Pizza, I will admit, Are you guys I, in the, I'm a the stingy room? bitch when it comes to pizza. No one Hi, does pizza I just correct. Got a call from Stanfield Be Bellini, and uh, he is on his way. Uh, the train conductor was uh, kind of arguing with him and taking sweet time. Copy. Oh, okay. Copy that. Copy. But he'll be here shortly. Copy that. Thank you so much, Chastity. Um, I, you got it. I, I am genuinely a, a, a stingy, 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 stingy bitch. We'll probably run a little I want to try New York pizza. Rest, New York pizza? Really, this, really I good. I would even, I would go as far as say New Haven style is even better. New Haven style pizza? I don't know when he gets here. I would say is my favorite Copy type that. of pizza you, of all time. It is not aesthetically pleasing looking, okay? So look at it and go, ew, disgusting, looks gross. This stuff is life-changing. It's so good. I know it looks gross. I know it's like, oh my God, it's burnt. It's not burnt. It's so fucking good. Hello. This, this is amazing shit. Hi. Hey. Hey. How's it going? Oh, it's going. I'm thinking about pizza. But I'm not Wait, eating out. I'm... I'm Oh, I'm just talking about New York style and New Haven style pizza. I don't think I can ever. I'll be honest with you, Flop. I started judging you when you told me that you ate Casey's pizza. But how the fuck do you remember that? I I, I remember so that high. because that's so long ago. <laughs> so long ago. That was like years ago. Okay, but I remember this specifically, and I need to tell you that like, I think like seven years ago. I went to the mainland and I was in Texas and I you got a case tried what the fuck you were talking about. It's Why not, is it's not bad. gas station food low key hit? Like it's on not the low, bad. on the low, like it's low like key, if I was off my ass, I could, I could smack like two of those. 
like just like they do this not like thin crust. I'm not like that, but you know what I mean. Yeah, they, but like they load that shit up, and I, the first time I had it, I was like, "Why is this unfortunately good?" It's real good. For what it is, it does not. You have to go into. You can't go into and be like, "I'm going to a restaurant getting pizza," because if you do that, it tastes like shit. Yeah. But if you go in, inside, walk by the gas pumps, smell the gasoline, and go, "Can I get a pizza?" Mm. It's like you know what? Hey, this ain't that fucking bad. No, because I found out that those bitches, because that when I when I tried it, I didn't realize that I had tried it till I don't know. I randomly thought about this the other day because I brought it up again. Hmm. But they be open at like all three in the time. morning. I'm telling you that three in the morning pizza it's go kind of hard. Three a.m. pizza girl, like what? <laughs> I am. Oh my god. I had to bring that up. I don't know why. No, I you're just, fine. I think I've attached you. There to might be a pizza coming to MRPD. Pizza. Oh, you're so real for that. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I am oof. I am not. I am not ashamed. No, you're real. Oh man. Um. See, I I had it when I was uh, a little fruity, but I. Uh, <laughs> fruity. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, well, I, you know what I mean. I was a little. <laughs> I was a little on, on that Fruit Loop. You know what I mean? I was, okay. I was fucking gone. But oh, Chastity is such a doll. Look she's, at her. Oh my God, she or what the fuck, Lucas? I, I'm, I'm just gonna say it. We don't deserve Chastity. This is fucking we amazing. Don't. We don't. Okay, but I don't. Think okay, I can but, get behind this cheese smoothie shit, bro. Okay, like, hold on. <laughs> but, but I need to complain. Okay. This fucking shit is empty. Hold on. Did Chastity get fucked? What, what's going on right now? Oh no, there's so many. Come up the stairs. Come up the stairs. There's a fuck, fuck ton of these hoes. Okay, perfect. <laughs> um. There we go. Uh, but my 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 point. I found a pizza place in Knoxville that does a pizza. It's my my favorite pizza of all time. It's called a Grandma Pie. It is a square pizza. Oh, this is such a good photo. Oh, man. Actually, it's really not a good photo. Okay, I'll go but... throw these boxes away. I think they're on their way. Um, Here we go. It's a grandma pizza. This stuff is very good. And I could not find... I At home, there's this little hole-in-the-wall place. I had to travel two hours to get it, but I used to go and do it. My favorite pizza. And... Um, I think the only thing that I will say about it. Well, does, Alice, I want your opinions on this, though. The, um, the heartbreak. Obviously, it was due to tragic circumstances that they could not, you know, handle on if they could be here on a timely manner or not. Right. Mm -hmm. But our next interview would technically be starting in eight minutes. Do we want to conduct? that one and then do Mr. Bellaney or should we do Mr. Bellaney and just have them all run late? What do you guys think? If Bellaney can make it and be here, uh, I would say we do his and then we just tell the next people, hey, listen, we went a little over time. I apologize. Or we just ask if Bellaney is willing to wait until we finish this one and then do his next. I think regardless, they're all going to be late no matter how you cut it. I think we should just do Bellaney first now that I'm thinking about it. Okay, that's fine. We can just do that. <clears throat> uh, but when I got I a, a grandma pie I here, I got a grandma pie here. I wonder if I can find the photo of it. Hold on. I don't know when I got it, but I got a photo of it. I took a bite of it, Alice, are you and I teared up. Right now? Because I haven't had good pizza since I moved down here. I am, yeah. Straight up teared up. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm just playing in the locker room while I'm waiting for y'all <laughs> to be ready to go. Uh you're playing in the locker room. Yeah, I'm just like, you I'm know. I'm quoting that. I'm cleaning my chain, you know. Excuse me? Alice, I'm going to need you to behave. I found the photo. Oh, I found the photo. Oh, my God, I found the photo. Hold on. Bear with me. Um...
Okay. I had to take a photo of this. I ordered the grandma pie. And when I got this thing, it's a little bit of a shoddy photo, but you'll 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 get the point. It it doesn't matter. Okay, Mr. Blaney I cried is in eating the this pizza. I'll I I fucking teared up. Upstairs. So good. I oh man. Oh Yassins? I've never been, but I know a lot of people Alex, fuck are with you it. Ready? So good, dude. Yeah, I'm ready. So good. Okay. It reminded me of home. It was the first time I ate food, and it reminded me of home. Pizza Hut, you can't fucking sit there and I oh man. Ooh. Ooh. I'm gonna be so fucking nice and say nothing. Yeah, I've never been to Yasin's, but I know it's a little it's a little chain in Knoxville and it's so good. I don't know anyone who's been here and does not rave about it. I have heard I've heard like hype up to this place. Detroit style. Uh it's not quite Detroit style. It looks thick in this photo. It's really not. It's, it's actually like super paper thin, but the crust had this thing where it was a little like bubbled on the outside. Very, very different. Now, if I had to pick a pizza that will forever till probably the day I die be my favorite pizza ever. Like I go anywhere and I get this. Love it. Doesn't matter where, doesn't matter how, you cannot fuck this up. It's that white pizza, okay? If you've never had white pizza, I'm sorry. You are missing out. White pizza is a free trip to the bathroom. I don't care. I would a thousand times over get white pizza again. What's the white? It is ricotta. Regot. I lactose intolerant screams at me. Oh, mine too. I don't care. Oh, I don't care. I found out that this place that I go to does white pizzas on Wednesdays. And one of the, one of these Wednesdays, I'm going to go and get white pizza. I'll look it up. Hold on. I'll see, I'll see if they have a photo of it. Just this way. Him. Alrighty. Hello. Well. Alice, what's your status? I'm at the top of the circus. Uh, we're just waiting for one more real quick. All right. We're in the room, by the way. Mm, was I wearing the wrong outfit? Should I Should I have changed? No, no, oh, no. no you're, you're fine. Good. All right. Uh, was, okay. was Pinzone joining us or are we... Uh, no, he is staying out on patrol. Okay. All good. Um, alrighty. Well, for introductions, you know me, I'm Officer Lucas Lavender. Um, to my left is going to be Senior Officer Flop Dugong. To my right is Sergeant Alice Watson. And up on the staircase is Sergeant Sky Faye. Don't mind me, I'm in and out. Yeah. Okay. Well, alright. My name is Stansfeld Bellany, but... People call me Stan. Hi, Stan. Good to meet you, Stan. Very nice to meet you. Okay. Uh, could we get your ID real quick? I'm sorry. Thank you. Mm, looks like I haven't been to the store to get that thing renewed. Yeah, oh. you're going to want to get that thing updated. You didn't drive here, did you? Oh, no, I sure you I. Uh... Use the power of my own two feet. Okay, okay. Oh, wow. Uh, I'm, Alrighty, Stan. You do your oh, thing. I'm, no, no, you're, you're good. I'm just going to update uh, our sheet real quick. Okay. You can start. Well, just as an intro, Stan, let us know a little bit about you. We want to get to know you. I don't really care about any, like, past uh, LEO experience. Da -da -da. I just want to know all about you. You said you've lived in these parts for quite some time, so we're right. interested to hear all about it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I'm... Shit looks like cheesecake. ID, so you know, no, I'm that is good feller. pizza. 
<laughs> that is good pizza. Lived my life. If there's anything I know, it's pizza. Lived whole up in northern Canada, where the where the woods are thicker, uh, thicker than an elk's bottom. And well, I'll tell you what. Oh, I uh, love him. Always wanted to be an officer of the law, but the uh, up in that part, it my my life was spent hunting and trapping and looking after the forest. But I worked a lot with the RCMP and tracking. Tracking them criminals up there, and oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, you 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 get to learn those woods real nice, and you understand the right places where those uh, criminals will go. And, well, they call you up, and you get to you get to ride along on the hunt. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I have a question. Hey. Oh, oh, yes, sir, Officer Flops. Do you prefer hot weather or cold weather? Oh yes, well that's precisely why I'm down here because well I used to used to prefer the cold weather in my youth, but uh, well yeah, when you get a little older, it uh, well it, it hurts the bones and the joints, and frankly this sunshine it does a uh, does an old feller good. Yep. No, that's that's fair. Okay, okay. Now, now, do I need to go into the personal life? Because I, I, I had lived a long time with uh, my four ex-wives. I, I, I was, I'm sorry, four ex-wives? What uh, happened? What yeah. the? I, I'm kind of curious now. What, what the hell happened? Well, you know, the first one we married pretty young, and one day she told me to pack my bags for a nice trip, and well, I. A uh, young foolish man, I packed my lip instead and set out on the porch. Well, she didn't done like that. And off, <laughs> off she went. Well, the, the next wife, she went missing. You know, sometimes she when you're- She told me to pack, so I packed my lips late tight. At night, you know, people go missing and- That's I think so she just funny. wandered off on her own, built her own cabin. But sometimes I still hear her last words when the wind's blowing just right. Sound like this. Oh my god. Jesus. Yep, she probably found herself a nice place to settle down. Damn. Yep. Have you found her or not? Oh no, heavens no. Hmm. <laughs> you know, it's a big forest up in northern Canada, I'll tell you what. But uh yeah, oh the third wife, she left home because I figured I could become a professional uh, pool player. I spend weeks at the at the pool table, and turns out if you want a good relationship, you should probably pay attention to the person in the re- other person in the relationship. And well, I done learned that the hard way. That's fair. Hey, listen, at least you own your mistake. the 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 integrity of that is, you know, important. That's fair. That's fair. Oh, and then the fourth wife. Well, she left me. Uh, she cheated on me with my own brother and took everything I had, my home, my money, the bitch. Uh, that's my dog. Oh, oh, what kind of dog? <laughs> well, naturally a Newfoundlander, cause they they can survive them cold weather up there. No, that's fair. Okay, okay. Damn. Okay. So I mean, you you've definitely had quite the quite the marital career, we'll call it. Yep, yep, now I figure that's, I had my shot, or four, and well, either three strikes and you're out, and I got a bonus one, so I guess, maybe I'm done with that, it's time to focus on finding a place with some heat, and maybe doing more than just tracking the evil in the forest. No, that's fair. Uh, actually, you know what, I think this is a good question to follow that up with. Uh, what flavor of ice cream would you describe your personality and why? Mm, well, that's that's a great question. You know, it'd probably be probably be vanilla, but you'd have to throw in some chocolate chips, some M and M's, some gummy worms, and you know, maybe a little bit of chocolate sauce. It's quite frankly, uh, I seem pretty plain, but every bite's got a lot of surprises. That's fair. Uh, 
Are you more of a peanut butter M M&M and M or are you more of a regular M M&M? and M? I suppose that's part of the surprise. You, you never know which one you're going to get, do you? But if you could choose, which one would it be? Mm, definitely the peanut butter. I mean, the peanuts. You get that heavy crunch. Mm. Okay. Uh, Lucas, Alice, do you have any questions? I do. Don't be shy. I just wanted to um, ask, of course, and... This is also not even just a question, but just a mention. Uh, just oh, to we make didn't sure go that this. you're aware. I yeah, sorry. Just to make sure that you're aware that this interview is for specifically for shift three. Um, are you aware when shift three starts and ends? Well, I don't. I know. I'm not. Not precisely. No. Not precisely. Okay. Well, precisely, shift three will be from two a.m. EGT to 10 a.m. EGT. So, uh, roughly, I think that's almost exactly at Storm, or is that... I think I'm right. Yeah. Hmm. Exactly at Storm, and then six hours from now, or four hours from now? It's an hour before Storm, but I have a feeling that the weather will change um, in a few weeks back to... Oh, okay. Um, yeah. Uh, the start of the shift will be at storm again. Yeah. Two to ten. Yeah. Two to ten. Is that something that oh, okay. you would be okay with? Well, now, um, I'm, uh, do I have to do the whole that whole time frame each time I come? No, come no, no, no. Oh, no, 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 no. If you made it past the interview stages and just whatever is coming forward as a cadet, a shift would only be a, a couple hours so you wouldn't you could be it from anywhere it's just anywhere in that time slot basically all right yeah and, you could start your what's, shift what's, at 2 a.m or you could start it at maybe 6 and end at 10 etc stuff like that all right what's the expectation for how many uh, shifts a week that a person is uh committing to the to the task a fella like me needs his needs his rest uh, to be honest with you, I don't know if there really is like a certain minimum, uh, but we ask that if you, we're, we're not asking you to be around every day. So that's, that's, that's like first and foremost, I don't expect you to be here seven days a week, eight hours a day. That's, that's not the commitment we're looking for. It's nice and it's appreciated, but we are looking for some kind of consistency, right? So if it's three times a week, we just want to know three times a week. Uh, if it's twice a week, if it's four times a week. Do you do you think you you plan on being around as consistently as you can? Do you do you kind of have a set schedule in mind? Well, yeah, my my thought was, you know, on those uh, Friday Saturday night kind of thing, I'd put in the light up the candles and uh, take a take a step on them to get myself moving, a little burn to the feet, and off mm. I go. I got gotcha. you. Um, in terms in, in terms of your time on duty, though, do you do you think that you would you would be able to set yourself to a schedule? Is, is that something that would be an oh, issue? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My my thought was a couple of days a week and about the same time in those days. You know, the the Friday Saturday start start of that time until mm -hmm. a good four or five hours. Yeah, that's fine. That works. I. Uh, now, kind of bringing up from Lucas stated, uh, during at least your cadet phase and your probationary officer phase, you you do understand that we are hiring for this shift, right? In other words, the expectation and what you would be required for is our shift. Is that going to be an issue? Is that going to be okay? Wait, um, isn't that the same as... You got, you got me all confused there. okay so what Lu just... what what lucas stated was that shift three is between the hours of 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 two and ten and what i'm saying is those are the hours that we are hiring for so in other words at a time if yep. you were to be around at other times i'm more looking to see if you're able to make yourself available and be available for those times oh my apologies 
yeah, there's, there's, yeah, I definitely could do something there. Yep, yep. Okay. All right. Um, awesome. Uh, Alice, do you have any questions? Um, no, just the making sure that you are applying for the correct shift and you are interviewing for the correct shift is the main thing I'm looking for currently. That's basically like right now kind of thing, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You yes. would work right okay. now. How long ago uh, did you yep. wake up? Uh, well, right before I called Chastity. So, yeah. So you haven't been awake that? for very long. No, about. Is it the normal? Oh, uh, Twenty um, minutes. Is this normal time for you to wake up? Well, yeah, yeah. Usually right after the storm. Yep. Okay. Sure. Okay. Awesome. What kind of music do you like? Well, I'll tell you what. Uh, I like anything acoustic, really. That's. Learn to play that when you're all by yourself, but well, frankly, if it's music and it makes you feel good, then there ain't nothing wrong with that. You mentioned about like doing things by yourself. Are you more of a lone wolf or are you a group setting kind of person? Oh no, I'm I'm comfortable by myself if need be, but I. I do enjoy the company of a friend when you're when you're uh, in a stressful situation. I mean, you got somebody to look after your back, but it's, uh, I believe it's a team game you guys kind of play here. So that's uh, I'd like to think I could fit into something like that. Okay, I have a question. Okay. Unless you had a follow-up question, right. Alice. I'm sorry. No, I didn't. You're good. Go ahead. Uh, what is your favorite trait to see in somebody and your least favorite trait to see in somebody? Man, that's a great question. You're on your phone. Are you getting these off of uh, online or are you coming up with these? These are really good. What's that? I uh, say so you were on your phone. Are you are you getting those questions? Are they're really good? Are they coming from a? No, no, no. We 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 do have some standard questions we like to ask, but we usually free ball uh, interviews for the most part. Also, if you haven't oh, met, this right. is uh, Chief of Police Barrett Johnson. <clears throat> Not good to meet you. Hey, who are you? Oh, I'm Stansfeld Bellini, but uh, people call me Stan. Stan. All right, Stan. Good to meet you. Yeah, yeah, mighty fine. Uh, we'll call you Handlebars instead. Is that acceptable? Well, you know, it ain't gonna hurt my feelings as long as you like to hear. Me, That's what I like to hear. Call me something real mean and throw me out the door or something. But I should be all right with that. All right. Do you know Cordenwood, sir? Ooh. Uh, 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 you know uh, no, that's uh, so fucking I crazy. That was friend. that was my next well, question. Cornwood and you were gonna be good friends. You like Texas? Do oh, I like Texas? Well, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Anything with a anything with a ranch is a good place to be. Yeah, you and Cornwood are best friends. Yeah. I already see a future yeah, here. Uh, I should definitely apologize. I haven't answered your question yet, Mr. Flop. Oh, yeah. That's, I forgot I asked a question. Barrick walked in. <laughs> uh, well, if you... Something I look for that's good in a person is, you know... Well, um, probably just the opposite of what I di dislike about uh, certain people. And that's, you know, you look for integrity. Yep, yep. You don't you don't survive those long winters up in the north of Canada without having someone you can trust and well when you can't trust them that's probably time to move on. What does integrity mean to you? Not the definition, what does it mean to you? Well, it means having those difficult conversations. I'll tell you what, there, you know. Not every day is a good day. Sometimes bad things happen, and sometimes someone lets you down. And 
Well, if the person who lets you down tries to cover it up, that's they're lacking that integrity. But if they're willing to stand up and tell you to your face that, you know, son of a monkey's uncle, I done, <laughs> I done screwed up and cost you some pain. Well, then that's someone who's got some integrity. You, you got to own up to those mistakes. Okay. Uh, hard hitting question. What's your favorite space movie? Well, you know, I do like to giggle, and I don't know if you've ever. You, might, no. you guys might be too young, no. but uh, oh no, no, I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, uh, go ahead. Wait. No, no, well, go ahead, go ahead. All right. What's I mean, your answer? Uh, Spaceballs is uh, the greatest space movie uh, there is. Okay, all right. <laughs> had us in the first half. Not gonna lie. I, 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 I was gonna say you. You had. You definitely had. You, de you had us in the first half. That was that was close. I heard, I heard, oh, of, I heard of Star Wars, and I was like, oh. Oh no, no here we go. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, you ever see uh, I was the one you, I like you were space expecting jam. I like Space Jam But space. now I've realized my newest fa favorite space movie Is now fucking Toy Story Oh what What Sorry continue Okay. Wait, Toy Story I kind of want to uncover yeah. that I didn't realize how much I thought About it until the last interview we did And I'm like holy fuck Toy Story is a good space movie too To be honest I can respect that. Uh, I don't think I have any other burning questions. Does anybody have any other questions? All right. Uh, do you have any questions for us? now. Okay. Do you, do you have... Sorry. One sec. <coughs> Excuse me. I apologize. Uh, do you have any questions for us? Well, you know... Uh... How's the process work from here if if yeah uh, things went well? So typically the process and the way that it works is right now we conduct our interview. We all discuss after. We come up with our decision. We, we, we then do another interview, right? Discuss the whole thing. Uh, sorry, bear with me for a second. Could one of you explain? I'm I'm sorry. I'm I'm dealing with something right now. I am so sorry. <laughs> um. Yeah. So we'll communicate with each other, and you'll hear back from us. But Miss Sanders specifically will contact you about um your acceptance, or if you will um. I don't know why I couldn't we ban. Be holding off for now, weird. and that you might come back in at a later date. You just receive a text message about it. All right. That's fair enough. Oh, like, if, any, if anybody like saw that link, do not copy it. Program. Do not copy it. Yeah. No, you're not. Yeah, you're not just throwing I don't know why it wasn't letting me ban. The wolves. Um, if you're accepted in, there's going to be a very large academy. And then from the large academy, um, there will either be a potential more training of one-on-one. -on -one, or if, depending on your experience and your knowledge, you will just be sent out. You will be thrown in with the wolves. Just depends. Um. You know, if you're not comfortable with that, then you will just continue to have one-on-one -on -one training sessions with an FTO. Oh, son of the biscuits, that does make sense. All right. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you have any other questions? Nope, nope. That should get me. Uh, I do apologize again for being late. Uh, no, you are I fine. It's your, so your fine. time. You are, it is okay. Don't be sorry. You're completely fine. We appreciate you coming in and interviewing with us. All right. Interview again. More questions, so um, we'll have one of us will walk out here, okay? I'll walk you out. There you go. All right. Okay. Well, you good to meet you. Okay. You take care, all right? Be good. Be safe. We'll speak all soon. Bye-bye. Right. All right. He just gets that. Thanks for coming in, Sam. I don't want to get you so bad. All right, awesome. Uh, I've got him noted down as checkmarked for interview, uh, which makes next person. Where's next person? Are, are we back on time? Is there a next interview in 10? Uh, 
I just want to make sure. No, I'm... our next no, our next interview was nineteen ago, so we're still a little behind. Faith McCarthy is our next, and it was supposed to be at four thirty. It is four forty nine. Faith is not on our, or at least the list that I'm looking at, uh, for the scheduled interviews, but I'll add her real quick. Oh, she's at the top in like the date spot part of it. Gotcha. Yeah. If if you if you look at round two, uh, her name's not there. I'll 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 just add her in real quick. Mm. Bear with me. Um, are you good? Yeah, I'm just uh, just stretching out, you know, making sure everything is uh, feeling nice and neat. Okay. Good. Good. I'm. I'm. I'm glad. I could cry right now. Why? Don't cry. It'll get. It'll, it'll be okay. Like Don't cry. It, feel, it feels good, so right? We have so many more interviews left. Uh, I okay. can't wait for tomorrow. Oh, oh wait. Why? What, what's what's tomorrow? I can't wait to actually be able to patrol. Oh yeah, or yeah. To, yeah. Or just to get out there and patrol. Just, just you're ready. Take the chains off. I gotta ask you a question. Hold on. So many years. Right. So many years. You were yard through these double doors to the left. Do you uh? Two is better than one? Question mark. Yeah. Okay, thank God. Uh, it's howdy. a pleasure to meet you all. I'm Faith McCarthy. <laughs> Perfect. Hi, Faith. How you doing, Faith? Where the fuck did we find this guy? What? I'm doing all right. Uh, is thank this? Thank you for asking. It, no you fucking. So good. So good. No shit. No. I'm doing great. Thank you shit. for asking. I can get started with introductions. If you don't know already, my name is Officer Lucas Lavender. I'm gonna cut you off, Lucas. Are y'all like related? Um, ooh. Well, um, no, this is the first time I've met him. Um, I'm gonna cut you off, Baldy. That's gray. I have lavender. Okay. Anywho, mm. to my left is mm. gonna be Senior Officer Flop Dugong. To his Hello. left is gonna be. Chief of Police, Barry. Dr. Stupid, Johnson. thank you for the four months. I appreciate it. And then to my right is Sergeant Alice Watson. Hello. Pleasure to meet you all. It's an honor. Yeah, nice to meet you. Do I know who this is? Well, we can get this started with. How about you tell us a little bit about you, Faith? Okay. Not so much about like a Leo experience or any of the stuff like that. Wait, is this what I thought it was? No, you and the real you. Okay. So let yes, us sir. hear it. Well, um, oh, uh, before we as get, you know, continue, do you have your ID on you? Can you flash us your ID, please? Oh, that is all. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. There you go. All right. Um, as you can see from my ID, my name is Faith McCarthy. Um, I am uh, soon to be 25, and uh, I'm from Columbus, Ohio. Uh, it's a long way from That's home, crazy. but uh, <gasps> yeah. Yeah, I usually get that reaction when I say where I'm from. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, uh, I spent a good amount of my childhood learning a lot about the law from my grandfather. Okay, it's not who I thought it was, Captain but I found out who it was. Columbus. Yeah, for, when he walked in, he, I don't for really a have second, I was like, oh, Sakuno. That, but it's definitely not some Sakuno. basic theoretical knowledge that he taught me. Um, but it, it's he's one of the reasons why I do want to become I, I do a know police who it is, officer though. because he inspired me. Um, to always look out for people and to always make sure to look out for the safety of the ones that you've sworn to protect and uh, always maintain integrity and honesty. Uh, that being said, I was an heir to a tech company and I basically spent all of middle school and high school preparing for that and then soon managing it up until I was uh, 20 years old. And uh, that's when I found out that my uh, fair parents music. were using the company to perform illegal deeds, like exploiting our customers for their data uh, without their consent, and also scamming them into 
false uh, or very bad investments. That's a classic. Uh, I tried. Yep. I tried to turn them into the police with the evidence that I collected, but uh, turns out my grandfather used his connections to, to uh, kind of get rid of all that evidence. It was and, snitch. Uh, that's when I. Uh, mm. Yes, sir. Okay. I'd say all right. yes. All right, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, I won't lie. I, I am. If if that's the right thing to do, then I'll do it. Keep going, though. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. Um, but yeah, after that, um, I confronted my parents about it. They weren't too happy with me, so they essentially disowned me. And uh, I kind of traveled a little bit around the country during that time. Did a bunch of different jobs, but uh, nothing ever felt quite as compelling and quite as meaningful as being a part of a, uh, of a police department. And uh, Los Santos seemed to be a police department that's in need of officers and also one that is fresh enough that I feel uh, still holds his integrity and will continue to do so. And that's why I'm here. Okay. Uh, let me grab a question real quick. Let's see. I really like this question, so I'm probably going to ask everybody. Uh, what flavor of ice cream would you describe your personality and why? What flavor of ice cream would I describe my personality? I would say it would have to be bubble gum. Ooh. Bubble gum ice cream? Yes. Yep. Okay, continue. Okay, hold on. What the Please. fuck is that? That's a good flavor, so... Bubblegum ice cream a real thing? Yes. <laughs> it is. Okay. I've never had it, though. Mm. But it's... Wait. You've never had it, but it, it's your... Okay. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I would say, in hindsight, that's what I would pick my personality to be. Because um, from what I hear about bubblegum ice cream, it is... Um, it seems very surface level at first, as in, like, you, you kind of expect what it's going to be. It's going to taste like bubblegum. But when you eat it, it has a bunch of different flavors, and, and it's kind of intricate in that way. Okay. I like that hey, answer. Little onion, little onion. Mm. Okay. I can appreciate that. Thank you. Hmm. What's your favorite ice cream, sir? Just my favorite ice cream? Yeah. I'm either straight up vanilla or if I'm if I'm feeling frisky, pistachio ice cream go hard. Oh, I see. Pistachio ice cream is nice. It is. Vanilla can't go wrong with that. It's a classic. Mm -hmm. I'm not a big chocolate fan. I'm not against it, but I'm not a big chocolate fan. Yeah, me neither. Would you say that no, you're some of... Oh, I'm 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 I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, no, I was going to say chocolate seems a little overpowering sometimes. Sometimes it can be. Would you say you're uh, a people person? Um, I would say so. Uh, I wasn't growing up, but uh, I, I was kind of forced into it. Went through a lot of training because uh, uh, I was a CTO for that company that I used to work at. So I, I had to talk to a lot of people. So I, I, I think I can Can you explain Um... So I had to attend a lot of meetings with a lot of different kinds of people from all sorts of levels of management, from employees all the way to executives. So I oh. had to kind of learn to talk to people and uh, kind yeah. of carry myself differently in different situations. Okay. I have a question. Yeah. This one might be a little hard hitting, so there's no shame if you have to think a little bit but what is the weakness of yours that might make um your progress and line of work such as being an leo difficult hmm. i would say my biggest weakness as of now right about birthday cake, experience birthday cake. and training um i only have firearm training but it's it's very basic gun safety you know keep your finger off the trigger make sure your safety's on that kind of thing 
I haven't actually ever been in any types of shootout situations. Um, on top of that, I, I do work good under pressure, but that's coming from, you know, an office setting and talking mm -hmm. to people, not really handling things regarding life or death or public safety. So I'd say the lack of experience is definitely something that might hinder my work, but I, uh, I tend to be a quick learner and I am very adamant on learning every bit of the process and making sure I get it right. Okay. Mm. I actually have a question mentioning your CCO experience. Would you consider yourself a leader? Um, personally, I never saw myself as one, but over time I've come to realize that if the push comes to shove, then I can be. What qualities do you see in a leader? Someone that is transparent and someone that is very clear about the vision that they want to uh, chase and they make that clear to everyone else that's under them. I believe that if you're not transparent about that and transparent about what you want and what you want others to pursue with you, then it is impossible for anyone else to follow you because everyone thinks differently and they might uh, I like this guy. kind of perceive things and goals differently than you will. So unless you make it absolutely clear what you want as a leader, um, it's going to be very difficult for people to follow. Okay. Hard hitting question. Favorite space movie? Favorite space movie? Star Wars. Which one? Okay, Bal. Which one? <laughs> <laughs> Specifically, hmm. there's like eleven. So, you know, they were. Oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> Empire Strikes Back, I would say, is my favorite. Okay. Okay. I can appreciate that. I mean, there's only two right answers or three right answers, so. That's it. That's good. In terms of space movie or in terms of uh, Star Wars? Star Wars. Okay, okay. Empire Strikes Back. Yeah. Although makes I'd that say list. after watching Dune 2, it's pretty close. Okay. To, oh, Wait, does Dune count as a space mm. movie? If I mean, it yeah, does, then I'm with I'll, Dune. I'll, I'll, I'm, I'm just going to put Dune. it out there. As somebody that, my, you know, has a vast, vast. Uh, You're an expert. Experience when it comes to movies. People are glazing the shit out of that movie. Oh, girl, bye. It was like, creepy. Okay. It was good. It was good. But people were talking about like, you know, that's just some sliced bread. And we can uh, back it up yeah. a little bit. At, on its own, it's not that great. But if it's part one and part two combined, then it's pretty good. That's I how I see it. I haven't seen part two yet. So I'm excited. It's good. I wouldn't say Empire Strikes Back quality though. But good. Okay, Faith, I have some rapid fire questions for you. Are you ready? Sure am. This is going to get crazy already. So I want answers really, really fast. No thoughts, just speak, okay? Okay. Left or right? Right. Hot or cold? Cold. Top or bottom? Top. Up or down? Up. Mountain or beach? Beach. Blue or red? Blue. Yellow or green? Green. Lemon or lime? Lemon. Okay. Alrighty. That's it for me. Alice, do you have anything? Um, I do, and they might have talked to you about it, and I... Did not remember that they did, but um, honey crisp is the best sure apple. Where that you are, best apple. Interview for shift three. Did you guys cover this with him? Uh, no, okay. no, so you're right. doing perfect. All right, so um, the, the shift for shift three starts at 2 a.m. Eastern time and it ends at 10 a.m. Eastern time. I forgot Flop is bald. Um, oh, he been bald. Is that um, appropriate for you to be? working or you don't obviously have to work the entire time but in that mm -hmm. hourage slot is what you will be uh required to work in for shift three dude is i got this lip balm and it's like coconut that? and pear i can eat um, this i would say i might be a little late on that 
um, for this month, but after that, I'll be okay. Wait, what do you mean? Um, so I'm, I'm currently fasting, uh, but that, that's sure, around okay. this time. Um, but after this month, I, I'll be okay and I'll, I'll reset my schedule. So it'll be completely fine. Okay. You said late as in like, you won't be here at the start of the shift or you would. Yeah. So I would, I wouldn't be here at 2 AM exactly, but if it's like four or five, I'll be here. Oh, sure. that's fine. and even if okay. you do that indefinitely, like starting at, at, as long as you are working within that eight hour slot period, that is mm -hmm. suffice. So 2 a.m. Eastern time to 10 a.m. Eastern time is the kind of goal, at least three or four hours in that time slot uh, is what we're looking for. So, yeah, if you start at 4 a.m., 5 a.m., that is completely fine. But that is perfect. So, um, yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, I can do that. Yeah. Good. Okay. Um, other than that, I don't have any other questions. Mr. Myself, Flop, Eric, do you have any extras? I think I'm good. Yeah, I'm all right. Um, then I'd like to open the floor. Faith, do you have any questions for us? I do. Okay. What hair products do you use? I need to know. Oh. Some secrets I can never tell. Maybe one day. Dang it. Maybe one day. One day. Oh, hell no. You didn't just ask that fucking question. This definitely wasn't looking what? at you, babe. I'm, I don't know how to tell you this. Um, I really like how you maintain your mustache, sir. It's great. Mm. It, it's yeah. very intimidating. You. It shows that you're not one to be messed with. <laughs> oh, my God. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> That's totally. so sweet. I agree. <laughs> I like. I really like your vest, sir, and the hat. Yeah, I like the hat you... too, Barrick. Faith, do you work sorry, group sorry. six? Mm. I do. Yes. What's Not your as much, driver, but. Are you? Uh, just tier one. I don't work tier it one. much. That's I just okay. kind of do it to uh, meet up with people. You know, just get to know them. Sure. Okay. That's completely fine. Um, Do you like anime? Yeah. Uh, is that what they call those? Uh, we Japanese were done animations? with the questions. The fuck? Uh, well, yeah. Oh uh, yeah, no, I've never seen any. I didn't really get much time. As a I kid. was gonna say twelve and one, but then I thought about it. And I was like, <gasps> actually. Would you join an anime club if you know you had the option? Yeah, I, I don't mind giving you things a shot. That's how you learn. Okay, sounds good. Do you Alrighty. like anime? I'm in the same boat as you. Other than Pokemon, I don't really know anything about anime, but we have an anime club, and I'm a avid supporter as um, a leader in the department. I am um, joining anything I can to help support my fellow colleagues. Oh, heck yeah. I think that's very admirable. Oh. Hmm. There she goes. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, Faith, do you have any more questions? No, sir. No? Okay. I will walk you out then. Thank you so much. Thank you, Faith. We're doing this with Have us. a wonderful rest of you. your day. We'll be in contact soon. Thank you. Thank you for your service, all of you. I really appreciate it. Of course, of course. Alrighty, you uh, you, you take care. Thank you. You cannot be squatting like that. Why? You cannot be squatting like that. Nobody's even behind me. If the cheeks are out, who cares? It doesn't even fucking matter. Actually, hold on, Barrick. What? Oh, Can we have the cheeks yeah. out on duty? No. Why not? Professionalism flop. Right. Actually, hey, can I throw out a suggestion, please, with my sergeant and my chief here? Always. Okay. You need command or senior reports like ASAP. I am not informing sergeants to say I have an internal complaint and here's an external document you can keep up with. That is insane. <laughs> I think if, if- What did you just say to me? Can you repeat that? Yeah. Uh, we don't have access to command reports anymore as seniors, which is okay. I don't care. But when I asked what the solution was, it was, oh, you should inform a command member 
like a sergeant that you are uh, doing an internal investigation if you have to and go from there. And I thought, okay, so I have to go to a command member. So above me as a sergeant, but has access to command reports and say, hey, I'm conducting an internal investigation. Here's this external report that I'm doing on my own time. Can you keep up with it? Does it not make more sense to just make a senior report? So they can just keep up with it and we, we can keep it all on the MDT? Since when did seniors not get access to the command reports? Is that like Apparently last night. Apparently that's news and no one was informed. And who did that? I have no idea, but uh, I've asked Bones and what I'm supposed who to did do. This in my absence. I don't know, but I've already expressed my concerns about it. I've texted Bones and said we, should, we need senior reports if that's the case because it's counterintuitive. Personally, I think it's a step in the wrong direction, but I'm not, I'm not complaining about it. I'm just saying if we're going to, if, if we're losing access, that's fine, but we need access to senior reports then. That's my suggestion. <clears throat> it's not your fault. It's no one's fault. I'm just spitballing. No, it actually is my fault. Is it actually? If I was better at managing my time, I wouldn't have taken two days off. No, you're fine. Dude, are you kidding me? I <laughs> you Did you hear the fucking sentence you just said? This is my <laughs> fault. I took two days off. Oh, my God. You gave yourself 48 hours to yourself? Oh, my God. How dare you, Merrick? <laughs> be like then. Man, take some time. It's okay. <laughs> And I had two days off and I've slept for five in that time frame. So. Do you know how, how many times I do that? I'm like, oh, I need a second day off. And then I look at my schedule and I'm like, I slept like four hours. What the fuck did I do? Yeah. And then we're gonna <laughs> well, I'll just say that um, and if that's what everyone is waiting on. Um, that's like mm -hmm. an intended thing. That, Welcome in Brandy mm -hmm. Lynn. Then oh, we definitely need to get like some kind of. Hi, Brandy. Oh, it's so lovely Senior to meet reports. all of you. Can hmm. I get all of your names? Sure, of course. Uh, my name is uh, Senior Officer Flop Dugong. Good to meet you. So lovely to meet you. Um, Thank I am you, Sergeant Alice Watson. <laughs> oh, in this one in the corner. In the corner. Oh. Yes. I'm simply sitting on a box. I oh, know you're just away from everyone. Why don't you come with everyone? You look oh. a little lonely over there. Oh. I no, I'm just fine where I am right now. Oh, Thank okay. you. Okay, I just I would just love to see everyone's lovely faces. Um, that's why. <laughs> Brandy, so just so you're aware, you know. Oh. The chief of police, Barrick Johnson. Oh. Oh, so lovely to meet you. I just yeah. wanted to see everyone's lovely it's, faces. I'm sorry. That's understandable. I suppose I, oh, I can move. <laughs> She's great. I don't even know who she is. She's you great. You don't have to. You sit tight. No, 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 I insist, since uh, you want to see everybody's beautiful face. Aww. Oh, well, He's so kind. I do appreciate that. Mm-hmm, anytime. Well, welcome, Brandy, to your PD interview. Who we plays Brandy, Chad? I, I, need, I need the meta. Okay. This interview is going to be specifically for Shift 3, those times being 2 a.m. EDT to 10 a.m. EDT. Oh, so you that's are perfect. made aware. Perfect. Okay. Um, just to get us started as a little icebreaker, um, how about you tell us a little bit about you? Um, we don't really care about a Leo experience, stuff like that. Just want to get to know the real Brandy Lynn. Okay. Oh, so. okay. Well Angelina. Um, I was born on a leap year. That's a fun fact about me. I'm a Pisces. Oh. I also, oh. you know, I also am a triplet. You know, I don't see I've never met anyone else that's a triplet, have you? I have not. No. Well, yeah, no, they're still living down south in Alabama with me, mom, Paul, Paul. But um, I wanted to start a new life for me. So I moved up oh, here to Los I'll, Santos. I make it my vote. Well, that is just divine. Fantastic. This is great. I'm already. I, I have a question oh. for you. Oh, go ahead. I, it is a very important question. I'm, I'm hitting this oh, off God. of food because I, I need to know. Oh, okay. What's the support vote 
on biscuits and gravy. Oh, biscuits and gravy only if it's from my Mima's cooking. Oh, I could eat biscuits and gravy all day. I love that answer. There's no, um, there's no, there is literally oh, no better answer. Biscuits and gravy too? I, oh, that just makes me so happy. I love biscuits.